What's up, what's up? So today I'm gonna be giving you three things that your website must do. Now this is something that I recently learned to a video from Marie Forleo who is an eight figure earner and this is something that she was talking about in a recent video where she was discussing websites that sell and don't suck. Before I hop into these three things, if you're an entrepreneur, you're building a business that you really are looking to grow and create success with, a website, you need to have one, okay? It's an absolute must. Now if you're just doing this business and it's really kind of just not really a business but more of a hobby, then you're probably not going to need a website. For those of you who might be watching that you're with a network marketing company, I do want to clarify this. When I talk about a website, I'm talking about a branded website that's branded to you, not your company replicated website, okay? But understand that a website, you need it, okay? It is one of two things that you own and control. You own two things. You own your website and you own your email list. Okay, so very, very important as an entrepreneur to have a website. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the three things that you need. Now, these three C's I got from Marie Forleo. This is something I've known about, but I love how she just kind of laid it out in the fact that it's three C's. So grab your pen and paper, okay? So the first thing that your website must do is it must connect with your audience. She said that it takes someone three seconds to form an impression about you you once they get to your website. The first thing that it needs to do is really connect with your audience instantly and also communicate how you're going to help them. So let's take, for instance, if any of you have been on my website, sherrybrowncoaching.com. Now, the first thing that you're going to see is a big banner with my picture, and it also has my tagline. So if you look at my tagline, you're going to know right off the bat who I serve. So if you are an entrepreneur looking to build a home-based business, then chances are my website isn't going to serve you. So the second thing that your website must do, it must capture somebody's name and email address, okay? When it comes to capturing somebody's name and email, that's what's called building an email list. And this is something that has been hammered into me over and over and over, the importance of building an email list because you're allowed to then turn around and start sending out emails that are are going to build rapport, build that know, like, and trust factor. So this is what I want you to understand. The majority of the people that you talk to, the majority of the people that come onto your fan page, come onto your profile, that are checking out your videos, the majority of people are not going to buy the first time that they talk to you. Think about certain things that you've bought, whether that be a course, whether that be coaching, or heck, whether it be like a car, you know what I mean? Did you go to a car lot and then just boom, buy it that day? or did it take some time? Generally, they say on average, it can take someone up to seven to 12 times of seeing something before they actually take the plunge and buy it. Most often, you're not really going to make a purchase, especially with somebody online, if you don't know, like, and trust their opinions, right? So on the very front of my homepage, Sherry Brown Coaching, I have a completely free training. And this free training is all about how I was able to quadruple my annual income in one year using a simple three-step process. So if somebody wants to get the replay of that free training, what they do is they'll enter their name and their email on my homepage, and they will go into what's called an autoresponder. Once they're in that autoresponder, what happens is every time that I put out a new blog post sharing tips on how to build a business, what happens is I then go to that autoresponder responder and I send out that email to everybody on my list. So even though I'm not constantly following up with them like one-on-one -on -one through Messenger because that would be annoying and I'm definitely not going to follow up with somebody 12 times, okay? But I will constantly send them emails to build that rapport. So that's how you do that. You must capture their information and that is to constantly feed your audience value to build that know, like, and trust factor. So what's the third thing that your 
website must do so it don't suck, okay? And that is you must be able to convert and make sales off of your website. That's the goal, right? It must be able to convert browsers into happy buyers. And this is one thing that I loved that Marie Forleo said. And she said, your website should be your best unpaid salesperson for your business. So you should be building that trust, but ultimately you got to be bringing in revenue. So that's something your website has to do. Had a coaching client and she had a website. Like her content is excellent, but she wasn't capturing anybody's names and emails. She was just out here having a website. She was blogging up a storm, but she wasn't building her email list. And I was like, that's one of the first things like I was telling her to do is you have got to start capturing people's names and email addresses because she was getting thousands and thousands of hits to her website. But if you're not capturing people's information and getting them on your email list, they could bounce and then they may never come back. So what happens if you aren't doing those three things, you aren't capturing their name and email and your website isn't like clear and able to connect is you are going to be missing out on thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So these are three things definitely want you to take note of those. The three C's. Again, number one, your website must connect. Number two, your website must capture your prospect's name and email. Number three, it needs to convert those prospects into happy buyers. So ask yourself those three questions. Is your website doing that? If not, it's time to make some notes, tweak, and revamp so it doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys got some value from this. Feel free to share it out. Sharing is caring. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.